Good morning, you guys. I always laugh when I say that because I have no idea if you're watching this in the morning, in the evening. You could be watching this whenever. Um, so today is Thursday and Casey and I are headed to one of our favorite towns ever. It's this little town called McCall, Idaho. If you guys have watched our vlog for a really long time, he's now joining us, um, you would know that McCall is where Casey and I went on our very first ever date. And we were just looking, yesterday was my mom's birthday, but it also was five years since Casey proposed to me. He proposed on my mom's birthday. So, we had fun last night, we went out to dinner with my mom, and just kind of celebrated her birthday and us getting engaged. But we're headed up to McCall because I have a wedding on Saturday that I'm photographing, and we are going to go up a day early. McCall is the halfway point to where my wedding is. So we're gonna go up and just enjoy a night in McCall, Idaho. And I figured I would bring you guys along um, and show you just some of our favorite things to do in McCall. Uh, for instance, Ice Cream Alley, the National State Park there is super fun, um, our favorite dinner spot, and our favorite hotel to stay at. So if you ever venture out to Idaho, here is all of our favorite things to do in McCall, Idaho. guys fastest two hours of your life but not necessarily the fastest two hours of our life uh, we made it to McCall so if you've never been here before it's the cutest little mountain town right inside of town I'll show you guys is a lake so that is a lake right there in the middle of town um, Going down Main Street, there's just a bunch of really cool things. One of our favorite things to do in McCall, especially for entertaining guests, and it's their first time here, is that is a um, public ice skating rink. And they have hockey and stuff there too. So super fun if you are just looking for an activity, whether it be winter or summer. So we're gonna head to our hotel. It's our favorite hotel here in McCall. And uh, I highly suggest it if you guys do come to stay here. It's called the Shore Lodge and there's just so much stuff about it, but it has a lot of history in the town. Um, it's right on the lake. A lot of the rooms actually face the lake so you can you know, go out on your balcony and look at the lake. They have an amazing spa if you guys are looking to kind of spoil yourselves. It's one of our favorite little anniversary treats for us. Um, and every night they do s'mores down by the lake with a fire, so super cool. Um, what else do you like about Shore Lodge? Hmm, cookies on your pillow every night. This is true, there is cookies and a free glass of wine when you check in, so that's always nice. They do like a turn down service, so you come back to your room at night and there's cookies on your pillow and they have like soft jazz music playing and they like turn down your bed for you, so kind of a fun little service. So there's the lake. And you'll see the dock right out there is the Shore Lodge's dock. And we are pulling up here to the Shore Lodge. This is a really cool wedding venue too. Uh, if you guys are ever looking for a fun place to get married, I've photographed a lot of weddings here at the Shore Lodge. Kind of dark in this room so I apologize hopefully this will figure out the focus for you guys but all the rooms are very woodsy just because we're in McCall but super super cute room we seriously love staying here it's so cozy and guys free glass of wine at check-in probably one of my favorite parts so Casey and I both grew up skiing in McCall and um, I told you guys a little bit about this before and we talked a little bit about it on a vlog before but our first date ever was going snowboarding at Brundage Mountain. Casey was gonna head up for the weekend and he invited me. At first I was hesitant but I already had a season pass so it was gonna be free if I wanted to go and um, 
we just went as friends totally as friends and uh, he let my little brother come with us so we went we had a blast um, and I totally ended up falling in love with him on that first day on the mountain but we ended up going like 23 other times that year it was a good snowboard year it was probably one of the best snow years that we've seen in a long time this last year was really good too um, and we had a lot of fun I actually did post a vlog I'll put the little thing up in the corner so you guys can go see um, we did a vlog where we came up here with our friends in February and we went snowboarding it was so good we had a blast Without walking down there and showing you guys I just wanted to show you this is such a cool thing so down at the spa you can either get a massage and then you get free access to here or I guess any of the services so nails or hair or a facial anything like that you get access to what's called the cove and so this is just a picture of it obviously but it's like this indoor and outdoor soaking pond and it's all natural it's so cool in there they will bring food and drinks in there but um you can also just buy a day pass to the cove if you want to if you don't want to get like a massage or anything um i believe it's like 20 dollars, and then you get to hang out here all day but they give you a robe and you get a private locker room and you just get to hang out in this indoor or outdoor area I love how this turned into story time, but you guys, this book has been so helpful for things to tell you about McCall. So Payette Lake is the lake right outside. Um, there's a lot of fishing if you enjoy fishing, not only in the lake, but also there's a lot of rivers and streams around. Um, the Ponderosa State Park, I think earlier I said it was a national park. It's a state park, so I totally lied to you guys. Um, and then biking, hiking, all of that good stuff that I told you about, the rivers, and then skiing. Okay, one last thing, I promise you, and then I'll leave you guys alone. Hot springs. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite parts about coming to McCall is going to the hot springs. There are several. Um, yep, so Bergdorf. Here, I'll get closer for you guys. Bergdorf, Zims, and Gold Fork. I've been to all three. I love all three um, for different reasons, but probably my favorite. I don't know, what do you think, Case? Gold Fork? Uh, yeah. Probably. I think Gold Fork's probably my favorite. So fun. So we laid down on the bed, and I don't know if we're going to get back up. The whole point of stopping here on our way up to northern Idaho was just a break for us. Um, we had a pretty relaxing week. It wasn't too terrible, actually, but I do have a long wedding on Saturday. Um, and then we have another three-hour drive to get up to northern Idaho for it. So we're just trying to relax and enjoy one of our favorite places on Earth. Poor case. <laughs> He's going to be out soon. Um, enjoy one of our favorite places on earth before we have to keep going. So I apologize that we're not going to go out and do too much crazy stuff. We're not going to go like ice skating or anything tonight. Um, we haven't totally made a plan. It's 3.20 in the afternoon. So basically probably all we have left is dinner plans and just kind of hanging out here at the lodge. Um, if we were going to go do something exciting the lake is amazing and there are rental companies here in town where you can rent out jet skis paddle boards boats you can bring your own boat your own jet skis um so those are super fun options for you guys if you're coming up in the summer the other thing that we really enjoy doing up here is going hiking and um right outside of town like barely outside of town there are trails everywhere and there are maps and stuff for you guys to use resources everywhere we talked earlier about going and doing a walk um, in the park. It's Payette National Park here in town. It's beautiful. It's one of our favorite places. For me, I love to photograph there um, for my couples and stuff. But we talked about going and doing that, but um, we are so tired. <laughs> I think I could do it, but I don't know if this mister is going to be able to. So I don't know if we're going to make it up for a walk or not today, but... That is another awesome option for you if you like to be outdoors. Um, third thing that I suggest, if you're coming here and you're looking to do something fun and active, we have two ski resorts very, very close to the town of McCall. One is Brundage Mountain, which is like my home mountain that I grew up on, and the other one is Tamarack Resort. And both of those offer skiing, snowboarding in the winter, and then in the summer, they offer mountain biking, downhill mount mountain biking. So. Just cool options for you if you are into anything that's outdoorsy, thrill-seeking, 
there are so many options up here. I know somewhat close to, I'm not quite sure where, but there is a zip line somewhere around here. Do you know where it's at? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I've never really looked into it too much. Mm. All right, we're gonna go walk down to the water here soon. Um, just go look at the lake and, and hang out, and then we will head to dinner. So we just walked out to the lake. The Shore Lodge does offer boat mooring. So a lot of people will bring their boats up, they'll stay here, and then use the docks here. All right, we both took a good nap. It happened. We weren't really planning on it. Maybe he was, I wasn't, <laughs> but it happened. Um, and we're refreshed, recharged. Now we're gonna head over to my favorite restaurant, which is called if you guys like to shop or get souvenirs, the downtown area here in McCall is super fun for that. But right now we're gonna head across the street to Steamers. It's our favorite restaurant here in McCall for dinner at least. Um, they have a scallop dinner that I absolutely love and French onion soup that is so good. So we're gonna head inside, get dinner, glass of wine, enjoy the evening together. All right guys, we are so full. And we decided that it would be best to go walk it off a little bit. So, if you guys didn't know, Casey and I have been doing this little challenge for the month of June. We're going to walk 100 miles, which is an average of 3.3 miles per day. And so... Not including walking, like... Not like just life. We're talking like intentional, start your Apple Watch, I'm going on a walk, yeah. walk, or run, which I, the other day I did run, but... It's really tough. You miss a day and you have to like, you know, you have to do double the next day. Yeah. Stuff. Almost seven miles in one day if you miss a day. So, um, yeah. we think that's maybe why we're so tired because every night we've been doing like five miles. Um, but I have a wedding all day on Saturday, so I won't be able to walk that day. And I missed another Saturday because of a wedding. So, we're going to walk tonight so that we don't miss out. But um, we just parked in a parking lot. And I'm going to switch over to my phone. I'm going to go vlog. We're going to go to one of our favorite spots. Totally counting out all the calories we're about to burn. But if you come to McCall, Idaho, you have to go to Ice Cream Alley. It's only open in the summer. It's a little family-run business. It's literally an alleyway. Cash only. Cash only. And it's mountain-sized ice cream scoops is what they advertise. Yeah, you only need one scoop. Yes, it's so big. Um, it's like one of those, like, they're like, oh, one scoop, and it's like actually three. Yeah, if you get you two scoops, scoop. it's like actually six or something, you know. It's crazy. It's so good, you guys. It's, it's really like good. tradition. If you come to McCall, every family that comes to McCall ends up at Ice Cream Alley. And I've been coming to Ice Cream Alley since I was a little kid. So, we're and it's go. how I think, if I remember right, there's like there's kids that run it in the summertime on their break. At least this is how it used to be. Uh, I think the, it originally started with the family. You know, this was how the kids would pay for their college. So yep. they would have to go and work all summer long. You know pretty much every day and uh you know there's always huge lines especially on the weekends and they make a bunch of tips and stuff and then they would split it and that's how they paid for their college throughout the year so their parents made them work for it but now those kids are probably grown and you know maybe it's for the grandkids now or maybe they just hire employees now but i remember that um being told that years ago so and i remember it's kind of cool they had like I don't remember how many kids they had, but the tip cups were split with whichever college that the kids were going to. Yeah. So you would like, I mean, I'm sure they split them evenly, but you would jokingly tip into the college that that you preferred, um, which I think were where the kids were going to college at the time. There like three or four of them. It was like Boise State, University of Idaho, WCU BYU, yeah, BYU. Like that. Yeah, something like that. Pretty yeah. cool. Super cool. Okay, so I'm gonna switch over to my phone, so if the quality changes at all, you guys know why. But we're headed over to Ice Cream Alley. After we leave there, we're gonna go for a walk, which is why I don't wanna bring my vlog camera because I'm not holding on to that the whole time. Um, and if we see anything cool along our walk, I'll be sure and bring you guys along with us. Walks are good too, for you and your She's significant other. Go on walks because it like, I don't know, we talk about all sorts of fun stuff that like if we're at home, usually if we're at home, she'll be on her computer or phone and I'll be on my computer or phone like working on shop stuff or working on editing so it like forces you to kind of take a break from those things and uh, yeah walking is good you will definitely you'll definitely uh, have some 
cool conversations with your significant other if you have one. If not, you can just walk and talk to yourself. You know? I won't judge you, I promise. There's nothing wrong with that either. Listen to some good tunes, go for a walk. Nothing wrong yeah, with that. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> or you can run, but we are way too cool for running. <laughs> we don't run. Make it be fat. Okay. <laughs> See you guys soon. One scoop. Crap, guys. I was already full. But you just can't turn down. Ice cream alley. You can't come to McCall and not get ice cream alley. So this one is a lemon pie. And Casey got, what'd you get? Pistachio. Pistachio. So good, guys. We didn't make it very long into our walk before I needed to show you guys how freaking beautiful McCall is. Look at this. The marina down there. So freaking pretty. When's the last time you guys went on a swing? <laughs> it's probably been 10 years since I've been on a swing. Maybe more. Definitely more. Graduated high school 10 years ago, so this is so crazy. But there was a swing set on our walk, so we had to stop. Just trying to show you guys. This mama just had this fun. Oh, it's so cute. So turn down service came. Bed's all ready to go. Warm cookies by the bed every night. All right guys, just like that, our stay here in McCall is over. We slept in, got ready, and we're gonna grab a quick coffee and hit the road so we can head up to my wedding. Um, because I know a lot of you will probably ask, um, we do not necessarily have a coffee shop that is our absolute favorite here. Um, it's pretty hit or miss, to be honest, and sometimes it happens in little resort towns, so um, there's a few options that are okay. Um, if I had to pick one, I'd probably say the Foglifter Cafe, but um, I've had some good coffees, and then I've had some not so great coffees, so... It's just hit or miss. Um, there is a Starbucks here in town if you do enjoy Starbucks coffee. Um, Casey and I prefer like smaller coffee shops, but at the same time, if we're looking for something that's consistent and that we know pretty much what we're gonna be getting, um, we know that Starbucks is a good option. And I'm in the personal belief that some coffee is better than no coffee, so we're gonna run and grab a coffee and then we're gonna hit the road. If you guys have any questions about McCall, if you have anything that um, you were wanting to know as far as like recreation or any more places to stay, things to do, restaurants to go to, uh, let us know. We would be glad to help you guys out. Anything you wanna add before I end this? Yeah. All right, see you guys soon. Thanks always for watching and we'll be back with more fun videos for you before you know it.